In the heart of a dense ancient forest lived an irascible matriarch cat named Missy. With her sleek black and white fur and piercing green eyes, she was a force to be reckoned with. Missy ruled her territory with an iron paw, her sharp tongue and quick temper, known to all the forest creatures. Missy's den was a cozy nook nestled between the roots of a giant oak tree, surrounded by vibrant foliage and bustling wildlife. The forest was a lively place, filled with the sounds of chirping birds, chattering squirrels, and the rustling of leaves in the breeze, but despite the beauty and serenity of her home, Missy was often grumpy and impatient. One sunny morning, the forest was abuzz with excitement. It was the day of the Great Forest Talent Show, an annual event where animals of all kinds gathered to showcase their unique skills. Missy was less than thrilled. She found the whole affair tedious and often left her in a foul mood. Her closest friend, a wise and patient old tortoise named Tiberius, noticed her irritation. Missy, why don't you try to enjoy the show this year? He suggested gently. Perhaps a bit of laughter and encouragement might do you some good. Missy scoffed, her tail flicking in annoyance. Tiberius, you know how I feel about these things. They're a waste of time and filled with clumsy performances. Tiberius smiled knowingly. But that's what makes them special. It's not about perfection. It's about having fun and supporting each other. With a reluctant sigh, Missy agreed to give it a try. The talent show began and animals from all over the forest gathered around a makeshift stage made of fallen logs and moss. First up was a group of mice attempting a synchronized dance. They stumbled and bumped into each other, creating a comical scene. Normally, Missy would have scolded them, but she found herself chuckling instead. Their antics were so absurdly charming that she couldn't help it. Next was a young raccoon trying to juggle acorns. He managed to juggle two for a few seconds before they all fell, one bouncing off Missy's head. The crowd gasped, expecting an outburst, but Missy burst into laughter. Well, that was unexpected, she exclaimed, rubbing her head. As the show went on, Missy laughed more and more. A frog singing off-key, a rabbit failing spectacularly at magic tricks, and a hedgehog attempting to breakdance all brought genuine amusement. She realized that the imperfections and mishaps made the performances endearing and memorable. By the end of the show, Missy's usual grumpy demeanor had softened. The animals, seeing their matriarch's unexpected change, felt encouraged and appreciated. As the sun set, casting a warm glow over the forest, Missy addressed the gathered animals. Today I learned something important. It's not perfection that makes us great, but our ability to laugh at ourselves and support one another. Thank you for showing me the beauty in imperfection. The forest erupted in applause, cheering for their matriarch who had discovered a new way to lead, with laughter and kindness. Tiberius, standing beside her, smiled proudly. Well done, Missy. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. Missy playfully swatted at him a grin on her face. Oh, hush, you old tortoise, I might just surprise you again. And so, Missy continued to rule her forest territory, still irascible at times, but with a newfound appreciation for the humor and joy that life's little imperfections brought. Her reign became legendary, not just for her sharp tongue, but for the hearty laughter that echoed through the forest, reminding everyone that even the grumpiest of cats could find joy in the most unexpected places.